In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I sound design my videos. Soon became popular for his most famous equation. E equals As you know that I rarely showing you guys the sound design part in every tutorials I made. But in today's video, I'll walk you through my process step by step from choosing the right music, layering sound effects, to mixing everything together so it feels cinematic and alive. I have two videos that I'm going to sound design in this video. All of these videos I've already made tutorial about them, but not for the sound design. So yeah, we're gonna complete it today in CapCut. And without any further ado, let's get jumped to the first video. Before we start, I'm gonna give you a quick shout out to Epidemic Sound, the sponsor of the video today. Epidemic Sound is the largest music and sound effects library on the internet. Here, you can find 50,000 songs and over 200,000 sound effects that are restriction free, so you can use them freely in your YouTube content like I always do. Click the link in the description to get 30 days free trial to start sound designing your video today. Let's start from the Einstein Parallax video. This is how it looks like without sound design. Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist first with his theory of relativity. His most famous equation, E equals MC squared, expresses the relation. It's pretty flat, right? So, now let's add a music to make it more alive. Go to Epidemic Sound, and here in the music category, you can find whatever music you like. For this clip, I need a classical piano music, because I think it's gonna match with some scientific stuff. And here you have a lot of music option that you can choose. Let's find the perfect one for this clip. I think this one is good, but it's getting closer to what I want. So, let's click find similar to find similar music. I think this one is perfect. It doesn't sound classical, but it sounds good to me. So, I'm just gonna download it anyway. Click the download button. And here I'm gonna change the type to all stem so we can tweak every instrument in this music. After that, let's import the extracted file to CapCut. Now, when you open the folder, you will found some music file that you can use. Just for your information, the first file right here is the full mix version of the music, and the rest of them is a separated instrument sound. You can use whatever you like. And for this clip, I'm just gonna use this one, cause I need the piano only. And it's gonna sound like this. Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist first with his theory of relativity. His most famous equation, E equals MC squared, expresses the re And yeah, now it's look way better than before. To make it more interesting, let's add some sound effects. Let's go back to Epidemic Sound and go to Sound Effects. The first sound effect that I'm gonna find is whoosh sound effect, or a wind blow sound that later I'm going to use for the zoom in motion in this clip. Because it's a slow zoom in, I'm going to use a long whoosh sound effect. You can just see from the waveform right here to find it. I'm going to pick this one right here. Let's hear it first. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Let's download it. Now, I need a shorter whoosh for the text reveal, and I think I'm going to pick this one. Let's hear it. There are two sounds in here, and they're both perfect. And now I need a sound effect for the typing animation. And it's very simple. We just have to type keyboard on the search bar. And I'm just gonna pick the one that is not fast but not slow as well. This one is probably good. Let's hear how it sounds like. I think this one is good. Let's download it. And now we're back in CapCut and let's place the sound effect to the timeline. First, let's add the long whoosh sound effect for the zoom in motion. Einstein was a German born Albert Einstein was a German born theoretic. As you can see here that the sound effect and the video is not synchronized very well. Albert Einstein was a German born theoretical physicist. It because the sound effect turns out not long enough to catch up with the zoom in motion. But don't worry. All we need to do is just to tweak it a little bit. First, I'm gonna trim the fade in part of the sound effect to catch up with the fast zoom at the beginning of the clip. After that, go to speed and slow it down until the end of the waveform synchronized to when the zoom stop. 
then enable change audio pitch. So it's gonna sound like this. Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist first with his theory of relativity. Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist first with his theory of relativity. Finally, now it sounds good. Now, let's add a faster whoosh sound effect for the text reveal. I'm gonna use the second sound right here. So let's trim the first sound cause we don't need it. Born theoretical physicist first with his theory of relativity. Let's drag it a little bit to here. Physicist first with his theory of relativity. Okay, it's good to go. Now, for the transition, I'm just gonna duplicate from the long whoosh sound effect that we've already tweaks. of relativity. His most famous equation, E equals MC. All right, that sounds good to me. His most famous equation, E equals. His most famous equation, E equals. Now, let's add the sound effect for the typing animation. Let's trim it right here, because it's a short animation. Then I think I have to increase the volume, so it's a little bit louder than the music. Equation, E equals MC squared, expresses the relation. That is perfect. Now, let's play it from the beginning. Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist first with his theory of relativity. His most famous equation, E equals MC squared, expresses the relation. Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist first with his theory of relativity. His most famous equation, E equals MC squared, expresses the relation. I like the result of this sound design. Now, let's move on to the next video. This one is going to be more challenging than the first one. So prepare yourself. This is how it sound without the sound effect. Back in 1975, this bicycle was more than just a design. It was a reflection of the times. Affordable, reliable, and easy to maintain, it soon became popular for urban transportation. Now, let's head back to Epidemic Sound to find the music. For the keyword I'm just gonna type the theme of the video that I'm gonna present. Now, let's find the matching music for this video. I think this is the one that I'm gonna pick. Now let's download all the stems. Import it to CapCut. Add all the music stems to the timeline one by one. This is how it's gonna sounds like. Back in 1975, this bicycle was more than just a design. It was a reflection of the times. Affordable, reliable, and easy to maintain, it soon became popular for urban transportation. This is good, but I think I'm gonna try to use the part which there are a lot of instruments. Back in 1975, this bicycle was more than just a design. It was a reflection of the times. Affordable, reliable, and easy to maintain, it soon became popular for urban transportation. Yeah, this is way better. So, now let's select all of the layers, trim it, then compound all of them. And I think I'm gonna decrease the volume a little bit because it's too loud. All right, now let's add some sound effects. Go back to Epidemic Sound and type bike in the search bar. Let's find some bikes noises sound. I like this sound effect. I will use it for one of the bikes part assembling animation. This one is also good and I'm gonna use it for when the chain is connecting the gear and pedal. And for this one, I'm gonna use it for the rotating wheels. This would probably match for when the seat's sliding up. Then I'm gonna use this bell sound as an addition when the assembling process is completed. Now it's time to place all the sound effects in the timeline and syncing them with the video.
and this is how it's going to sound like. This bicycle was more than just a design. It was a reflection of the times. Affordable, reliable, and easy to maintain. And this is sounds good to me. Now, after we finished with the bike assembling sound design, let's find some sound effects for another detail. First is the text animation. I'm going to type this keyword to find it. And this is the sound effect that I'm going to use for the text animation. Now, let's bring it to the timeline. Then I'm going to add a little bit of the bell ring sound here right when the text animation stop. So, it's going to sound like this. Back in 1975, this bicycle was more than just a design. It was a reflection of the times. Affordable, reliable, and easy to maintain. Now, when it transitioning, I'm going to decrease the volume of the music gradually by using keyframe. It soon became popular for urban. All right, this is perfect. Now, let's add another sound effects. I'm going to use another bike's chain sound effects for the transition. Okay, maybe this one will do. Let's add it to the timeline. It soon became popular for urban transportation. All right, perfect. Now, let's add sound effect for the zoom in motion and the highlighter animation. For the zoom in motion, I'm going to use a camera focus sound effect. So let's just type it in here. I think this one is good. Transportation. Popular for urban transportation. Urban transportation. Now for the highlighter. Perfect. For urban transportation. Let's play it from the beginning. Back in 1975, this bicycle was more than just a design. It was a reflection of the times. Affordable, reliable, and easy to maintain. It soon became popular for urban transportation. So, yeah, that's basically how I sound design my video. I hope this video helped you guys. Thanks for watching and thank for Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you in the next one.